Hello everybody, welcome on in. Today I've got some sword and shield rapier gameplay for you guys. So I put this build together just today and uh, played it for a couple hours. Played it inside of OPR and it was okay, but OPR was kind of a fire staff slash bow fest. Then I came out into open world and oh my god, this build is so great for open world. I think it's that mobility and the damage lockdown that it has. Just such great capability of killing someone and also keeping yourself alive. Yeah, really, really fun build. So let's get right into that PvP commentary. As you can see, we're hanging out at this uh, outpost here, open world, and I did manage to kill the archer right away. Really snappy combo on him, the shield rush into the uh, hard stun, and then the rest of the players chase me up top as I just retreat a little bit to heal up. And uh, I do my best to just fence these guys with the rapier as they try to get closer. The flourish and finish, so nice just to split them up. I go for the flesh right away. And one of the things I really love about this build is that the double melee allows me to be very aggressive with my different uh, offensive moves, especially my gap closers, which normally you'd want to make sure that you have ready for a moment when uh, maybe you need it more defensively. But I do love just being able to spam that. Kind of weird I didn't get hit by the stun there. I think the grit prevented me from getting stunned or I had been hit out right away. I know that stun is supposed to go through grit, um, but either way, this playstyle of this build, I'm just bouncing around these guys. I'm actually trying really hard to get to the Fire Mage in the back because he's very squishy and the melees in front are going to be hard to engage with if the Fire Mage is uh, blasting me from behind. The other players drop off the edge. The Fire Mage goes for a little bit of a weird rotation here. So I follow him down to the bottom and then I try to get that Shield Bash. Unfortunately, I miss... And yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there. I did jump out, but it teleported me right back in. So I ended up dying, but that's okay. I come back and I see that there are still two of them left here. And here's the mage that I was after initially. A 2k crit on that shield bash. Oh man, this guy is squishy. We're going to put some big damage into him. And he's completely gassed his stamina. And uh, I'm out of abilities there, but I do manage to connect the light attacks into the evade combo. And then a couple light attacks to finish off the down player. And now it's just me and the great axe player. And he is great axe and great sword, which is a very uh, mobile weapon combo, I think, for melee. I'm also very mobile with rapier and sword and shield, but I'm in light armor. So I should be able to outmaneuver this guy a bit. And here you can see I am able to break that distance effectively. The distance or the reach on that leap is kind of uh, misleading. The guy looked like he was out of range, but I was still able to connect the leap on him. And now I'm just kind of waiting. I want to get that shield rush into the shield bash combo so I can get that big backstab on this guy. Go for the flesh in to try to get a bit of damage. And there's the shield rush. There's the bash. Roll behind him. And then the heavy attack into the flourish and finish. Now that's uh, a combo that someone could dodge out of instead of just eat. But um, this guy ends up eating the combo. Beautiful timing on the cannon. And then the flesh uh, unnecessary to deal the last bit of damage there. But we go for it anyway. Moving on to the next fight, again some open world. I like this fight here because we get to see some of that ranged block in action. Coming in the new patch, more people will have answers to ranged opponents through block. Sword and Shield right now already has a great ranged block. There you see the Shield Rush combo into the bash, and instead of trying to stick that combo out, I end up just retreating. These guys have got some pretty high damage, and uh, I'll be honest, the gear that I have right now is not super great. I definitely want to get some upgrades. And these guys are putting a lot of pressure into me. I managed to just escape. Oh, man. Get through the door in time. And uh, they don't end up following. So I just heal up. And now I'm going to go for the re-engage. Redo some of my buffs there. And this guy's waiting for me right at the side. This is great because I don't have to go into the middle with them both blasting me. Beautiful connection on the stun there. The flourish and finish after the light attack or heavy attack evades, sorry. And I managed to stay on top of him almost till the end. He dodges the cannon shot. And now I'm forced to be very aggressive. I have to stay on these guys. I especially can't let them start unloading with their abilities on me. The Sword and Shield Fire Staff player trying to get that stun in on me. Very interesting build to see. But there's a nice connection with the flourish and finish to finish that guy off and then the uh, flesh to get through and now it's a, a tricky moment the fire staff guy is here and i'm just gonna block those attacks taking advantage of how amazing the sword and shield block is to just completely shut down that range damage and uh he ends up switching to sword and shield i think he's trying to get a stun combo on me there he misses all of his moves and then i get on top of him as he goes for that burnout but i managed to stick to him almost get the hard stun there he dodges it just in time the flourish and finish combo keeping the pressure on him and i try to uh stay on top of him with the leap there but i end up missing 
And in this kind of a fight here, especially being full melee, I just have to stay on this guy. The closer I am, the more advantage I have. And there you can see the big issue. He didn't get to the sword and shield in time. Caught with the fire staff up close. And I managed to bring him down and finish him off as well. One last clip for you guys today. Again, some more uh, open world PvP. The open world has actually been super awesome on Marima, so I cannot complain. And these two players follow me up to the top. I start engaging with them. There is a green archer here, and he is trying to shoot at the yellows that are in this fight too. There's quite a few yellow in this location, but they're pretty spread out at the moment. So I'm left up top with this guy here, and he is a chunky boy. I'm having a lot of trouble dealing any kind of really serious damage to him. There you see a 1.3k crit on the heavy. Yeah, let's find a different target and worry about him after maybe everybody else is dealt with. I get on top of the fire mage that the archer was shooting at here. I managed to get a nice uh, connection on the first hit, but then I completely missed the flourish and finish. He escapes with the burnout. And then with this tank guy, I decide, okay, I'm just gonna... Try to avoid him as best I can. Hit him with a hard stun, and we are out of here. <laughs> uh, I look and I see the archer shooting at the mage on the right there. This guy here is trying to retreat, so I'm going to get on top of him just out of reach with the sword and shield there but i do manage to land the flourish and finish after that shield bash preventing him from getting that distance on the gap closer and uh sticking to him with the rapier as well as he gasses out his stamina sword and uh board player right on my tail and there's a nice cannon shot to finish him off and yeah i hit the bash on this guy and it's just like i can't hit this guy on the ground so i throw the flourish and finish just the flourish actually to kill him and then uh we've got two more enemy players left to deal with here they're both shooting at me and i am taking quite a bit of pressure here i think there's also no that's the green player on the left there and i decide to retreat a little bit heal up behind the corner here sword and shield player is going to follow me first um i do eat his stagger but he right away goes into the block the nice thing about this guy's build is he's very tanky and he's very annoying but he's not dealing a crazy amount of damage so i can just absorb some of the punishment from him Big combo there. I actually hit the green player quite a bit too. And uh, this guy is trying for his life to run away. And I've got a couple yellow on the flag that actually are on my friends list. So they're just watching the fight and chilling. And we managed to finish off the uh, yellow mage there. And it looks like the yellow mage we killed at the beginning has also come back too. But he's fighting the archer at the moment. So I am left to deal with the heavy armor player. And this guy is super tanky. And the fight ends up taking like 9 minutes or something like that. Either way, I wanted to try. Because I want to see what this build can and can't do. So it was very cool to uh, take the fight against the heavy guy. I'll let you guys see the end result of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. And of course, if you want to catch that live gameplay from me, there's a link to my Twitch down below. If you have an awesome clip that you want to see in the top five, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. And if you want to see written guides to my builds, this one will be added in the future. You can check out my website, pvpnewworld.com as well. A big thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring the show. You can get a deal with your first purchase with them thanks to the link down below. And of course, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting. Thank you guys so much. Thank you everybody just for tuning in and watching. And as always, have a good night everybody, and I'll see you next time.